Now at this point in the process, let's assume that we've extracted our clips and we've put them into a package and we've then provided them to our IT department who've taken those clips and put them onto a network drive that's accessible from the internet. So if we go to the status summary here by clicking on it, it will bring up the display. You see all your extracted clips here. Now you'll see that now what we're going to do is this and we're going to say custom URL here. So we click on the custom URL and it will bring up a prompt. And uh, this is where we're going to type in the path that the IT department has given us to that particular URL. So I enter the path here and then I click on the OK. And then what it's going to do, it's going to go out and it's going to find the videos here and check that they're available. So if I go to my status summary again, you'll see now I've got the custom URL over here. And this is actually pointing to the individual files on the network drive that can be accessed by the internet. And you can see if I point at any of these and just hover for a moment, and you'll see it popping up here with the URL address ready for use here. If you want to then verify that all the URLs work, we've got an option down at the bottom left hand corner of the status summary screen called Verify Custom URLs. You click on this. It's actually going to go out to the internet and call each one in turn. So you can see here it's found, highlighting it in green, all the ones that it found. Any ones that it was not able to find, it would, they would show up in red. So that's all you have to do to set up the uh, URLs to be used for printing PDFs and HTML documents.